Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more La Mulana 2. In the last episode, we defeated the 11 uh, sub guardians of the Hall of Malice. And while we have access to Echidna, uh, there are some other things that come to mind that I want to look into. The most pressing but one being, uh, we might have missed something big about Nibiru that I want to check out. So, let us go and check it out. Just gotta get back over to that pyramid. I am loving this flail whip, guys. It is the thing of the things. Except, uh, they seem to have gone completely the wrong way. Ah, I'm such a derp. It's great. Lumisa, please climb the Castlevania stairs like you're told to. Thank you. Da! Ah! What are you doing there? <laughs> The Basilisk got on my ride. It is Grand Theft Elevator. And he just up and left. That's fine too. Alright, so the thing I want to try is... Uh, this clay doll outfit... Not only does it sort of look like a spacesuit, it protects us from polluted air, so... I want to see if it'll protect us from a lack of air. You know what I mean? Let's give it a shot. And if we're wrong, then... Oh well. We are... Nibiru. I was right! What's all this? Well, there's a death seal here. What's this? The Titans spoke of an unavoidable battle. The Alpha spoke of a joyous sleep, of what is known as night. Those who seek must speak the name of Nought. Alright, the final mantra. Cool. Alright, let's start using our crystal skulls. Uh, does this have anything to say now that I've put something here? Headless crystal bust with Nibiru inscribed upon it. Likely the name of one of the twelve Anunnaki. Okay. Well, we have all twelve skulls, so uh, let's put them in place. We are in a we are in shoot 'em up land or something here. What is all this? Don't know what that thing is, but uh, let's say we leave it be. At least for now. Now Oh, I see a data ROM. And uh, entirely too many crystal buddies. A Nuna key acquired. A living body of crystal, the soul of which has become a semi-permanently non-deteriorating material. The origins of its soul are unclear, but its intelligence appears to have already drained. Really? That's what these things are. Okay.
So they are far more alien than we even thought is what we are learning here. Don't uh, quite have all the pedestals ready for the Master Skull. We've got seven of them though. Let's just get the others ready. Please do not bother me while I am putting your skulls back on your hip bodies. Ow. Ow. Oh, this is just all kinds of rude. I'm being stunlocked! is just rude in a bucket. Alright, is there... Oops. Alright, if that's what you guys want to play, I'll just shoot you all down. I can't shoot. There we go. It's 11, ow, and I'm going to die very soon. Oop! Yep, okay, we're getting out of here. Before all of my hard work is lost. To the surface! Can't see how long I've been recording with this glass of water in the way. And while we are here, let's uh, check out the meaning of this... Uh, this mantra. To the immortal battlefield. Lantern is in fact lit, so uh, that won't be a problem for us. Assuming I can actually yeah, get Alvis to cooperate. is the inevitable joy sleep. The children referred to such as the end. Alright, so we have 10 mantras. We have 20 meanings, but let's get back to uh, let's get back to Nibiru. Just have that one uh, thing to put in place. That's all twelve.
What's all this? Thunder? I guess I need to come back with a little bit of lightning. Wish I could use the Holy Grail here. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. Where are these guys in the tanks? Are these the Anunnaki or are they uh, people ready for the Chimera experiments or something? Crystals contain their souls, but uh, it's hard to say. Alright, let's go collect some lightning. Should be simple enough, right? That should be enough lightning, I hope. And if not, we just come back and try again. <gasps> Didn't quite make it. This pyramid is a bit of a hassle to get into. we go. And I need to put on my spacesuit before the airlock opens. There. There is way too much knockback in this area. It's like Ninja Gaiden levels of knockback. Alright, here we are. Let's stand atop the skull and try our luck. Success! What's all this? What is being shown to us here? Well, it seems to be a schematic for the, uh, the Corridor of Blood, I guess? That's almost certainly what this is. If only I knew which area was which. It's, uh, kind of hard to see, really. Oh, wait, there's dissonance here. <laughs> Good thing I didn't leave without that. Alright, so we got the Anunnaki's dissonance. I'd say that's pretty good. Uh, let's go take on Echidna.
to the Hall of Malice. Won't be needing this now. Save our game and go fight Echidna. She's uh, down this way. Right? Now, you, sir, are a pain. Entering with 250 HP instead of 350. Not ideal, but uh, what you gonna do? Let's go! Uh, which which weapon should I? You are kind of like TMI. Does that mean you're weak to flares? Whoops. Doesn't look like it. Ow, that didn't work. That didn't work on you. Nothing seems to be working too well. And then I died without getting very much done. All right, let's try with our uh, with our shurikens. That didn't work too well. Shurikens. Can hit her. The question is, uh, are they really that effective? Doesn't seem to be the case. Now, not quite sure what's being asked of me here. Oh, she is weak to flares, okay. I don't seem uh, to be doing a whole lot of damage, though. There are way too many projectiles flying around here. Maybe I should summon a fairy after I uh, after I heal. Big, 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 big.
There's our fairy. Let's go, Hall of Malice. Kara, let's do this. Why aren't you attacking? There we go. Health bar changed. Okay, what's happening? We uh we broke her hands. Come on, Kara, get back up. Lasers. All right, well, that's what she's capable of. Uh, let's just let Kara finish her off. <laughs> Boss officially trivialized. Yeah, Kara. You've obliterated Echidna, but the adventure continues. Reproduction of power. That's the achievement I got, and uh, I need to use the Mulana Talisman to break the curse on this thing. Giant's Flute! I actually use this? Don't know. Let's go ask a guy. There's a flute that makes their words intelligible to us. Not that I actually know where to use it. Uh, let's try against Fenrir! Because <laughs> it's not like I have anything better to do this episode. Oops. Alright. Fenrir has nothing to say to us. I think now would be a good time to end the episode off. We did exactly what we set out to do, and uh, in the next episode, uh, in between episodes, I'm going to gather some clues, but then we will attempt to solve the riddle of Brahma. I hope to see you guys then. Bye, Kara. You did us good, Miss Fairy. Bye-bye for now.